not afraid of anything. I'm not even afraid of goats or ghosts or ghouls, which brings us to today's program, Tokyo Goats by the one and only Unravel from TK. Shoot. I practiced saying it in the right order, but then I messed it up. This is a song called Unravel by the artist TK from the hit anime series Tokyo Goats. Close enough. We do unfortunately need to talk about tuning briefly. So this song is tuned down a half step and then a capo is placed on the second fret. Now those of you who are familiar with tuning down and familiar with capos will know that this seems kind of ridiculous. I have two theories about why TK does this. Theory number one is that he could be tuned down for some of his other songs and then the capo on two is to bump the pitch up to where he wants it for this song. My second theory is that if he were just to put a capo, so, okay, so basically if you don't tune down and put a capo on one, that's the same as if you tune down a half step and put the capo on two. But if you do that and you have the capo on one, then all the the dots confuse me a lot. Ah, guys, look, here's the deal. That second theory kind of fell apart, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the capo on the second fret because that's where he does it. We're not gonna tune down right now, so we're just gonna play it a half step higher than he does it. The reason I'm doing it that way is so that you can play along with me without detuning your guitar. If you wanna tune down to play along with the recording, then put capo on the second fret and then tune to top string is F, the next one is A sharp, then D sharp, G sharp, C, and F. Put the capo on before you tune because the capo will like squeeze the strings and make everything a little bit sharper than you want. Put the capo on first and then tune. Let's learn the song. Guys, please place your pinky on the seventh fret of the second string from the bottom. Put your ring finger on the sixth fret of the third string from the bottom. Then over here, you're gonna play third string from the top, then play second string from the bottom, then third string from the bottom, then the bottom string. So those first four notes were bonga, bonga. Then we have a brief little half beat rest. Then you're gonna play second string from the bottom, third string from the bottom, fourth string from the bottom. If we put that all together, it sounds like this. One, two, here we go. And bonga, bonga. Da, da, da. One, two, Play with me. One more time, we'll do it for free. That's the picking we're gonna use for this whole introduction right here. I do believe that in the actual recording, he doesn't always follow that exact picking pattern. But we're just gonna go with it to simplify things and also because I can't tell what he does. Don't tell anybody I told you that. All right, so we do that picking pattern on this crazy chord. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get rid of your pinky, but keep your ring finger on the sixth fret of the third string from the bottom. Put your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the third string from the top and put your middle finger on the fifth fret of the bottom string. Do the exact same picking pattern. <laughs> Very cool chord, in my opinion. All right, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna get rid of your middle finger, take your ring finger and your pointer finger, slide them backwards one, two frets. So now you're on two and four, and then add your pinky to four of the bottom string. And guess what picking we do? That's right, we do the exact same picking. Then we're gonna go right back up two frets, get rid of your pinky, put your middle finger back on five of the bottom. We're going back to the second chord we played. So we're doing our first chord, then the second one, then you slide over for the third one, and then go right back to the one we were just on, doing that same picking pattern for each of those four chords. Guys, would you please join me in playing these four chords with the picking pattern nice and slow. We're actually gonna do it twice in a row so we can get some extra practice reps in. I'm all about the reps because I am lifting weights as we speak. One, two, 
here we go. In. beautiful start. Hey guys, do you know what else is a beautiful start? Me on Instagram, Marin Music. I, gosh darn it, son of a gun, snacking heck. I meant to look up if it's Marin Music or Marin Music Center because I can never forget what my profile is on there. But anyway, I, there's a link in the description of this video on Instagram. If you follow me, I will not give you anything. Good, 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 good. This is going exactly as planned. For the intro to the song, which is basically like the first verse of the song, we're gonna do those four chords with that picking pattern twice in a row. Then we start it a third time. We play the first chord. We play the second chord. But then we go to the third chord and instead of doing the regular picking pattern, we're just gonna strum the bottom four strings and go one, two, three, four. Great, fantastic work you just did. I set my coffee cup right here on the thing next to me and it's kind of a cushion. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get up and then I'm gonna sit back down and it's going to launch my coffee into the air and then I'm gonna catch it and then I'm gonna take a sip and it's gonna look very cool because my sunglasses are gonna come down at the exact same time. It's gonna be unbelievable, just wait for it. Um, after we do our strum on this chord and count to four, we're gonna go to the I'm gonna, what's, here's what's good, at this point, I'm gonna start showing you the distorted guitar part where the overdrive comes in, but I'm not gonna put the distortion back on because then it's just gonna be so noisy in here. My dog is right there trying to sleep. She's gonna be very upset. Actually, she might be deaf because she like, I'm very loud and she does not seem to care. All right, get this power chord ready. Do second fret on the top string, fourth fret, third string from the top, fourth fret, third string from the top. Two on top, then four on the second, then four on the, gosh darn it. That's like the easiest part of the whole song and I just messed it up. Okay, look at this, look what I'm playing. Two, four, four. And you're gonna go like this. I'm just strumming down on all these. I'm going down, 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 down. One, two, play with me. Da, 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 da. Then you're gonna do that same rhythm again. Da, da, da. That. But then on the very last strum, we're gonna switch to zero on top, two on the second string from the top, two on the third string from the top. So watch this. See that right there? Play with me. One, two, a little slower. Fantastic work. Then we're gonna, there's a little bug. You know, this is not the first time a little bug has shown up on my paper here. It makes me think that that paper creates bugs. Then we're gonna count one, two, three. So we're gonna count to three. Immediately after three, we're gonna go like this. <clears throat> this little slidey thing. With overdrive, it sounds better, but like I said, we're keeping it clean because my dog is deaf. Okay. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna use like, I use my pinky and my ring finger and I just like very haphazardly mash down on the bottom couple strings. I'm not trying to get a clean note. I'm just trying to get like, like I'm just trying to mash down is what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna strum up and I'm gonna do the slide up. Then immediately after that, I'm gonna mash down on the top a couple strings and strum down and go like that. So it's like, like that. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three. If it sounds like this, one, two, three. That means you're like not mashy enough and you're too precise. We want to be a sloppy jalopy for this. Try it with me. One, two, three. One, two, three. Honestly, I'm not even joking. This sounds like a joke. You have to make your face look like you're rocking the hard way if you want this to work. If you go like this, it's stupid. If you go like this, <laughs> no, don't do that. Shut up. I'm so embarrassed. I tried to do a cool face and I couldn't do it. Then go back to the two, four, four power chord and go ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. And then we're just gonna go ba -da, ba -da. We're not switching to this one. It's just ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. All right, then we get to the hard part. 
Let's learn this hard part and then we'll review everything we have. The hard, gnarly part goes like this. You go up to, okay, this is, you go up to 14 on the second string from the bottom. But here's the screwiest thing about this entire song. Because you have the capo on two, 14 actually seems like 16. Like it's the 16th fret of the guitar, but it's the 14th fret from the capo. Some people, myself included, once you get up here, I kind of forget the capo is there. So if I'm looking up here, this looks like the 16th fret to me, but for consistency's sake, we have to call this the 14th fret. We're always gonna be doing everything from the capo. So looks like 16, but it's actually the 14th fret. Are we on board here? All right, so you play 14 on the second string from the bottom, and then you play 17 on the bottom string, like this. Then go back to 14 on the second string from the bottom, and then with your pointer finger, just lean it down and play 14 on the bottom. So that was boom ka boom ka Immediately after you play that 14 on the bottom string, you're gonna slide down to two. Once you make it to two, you're gonna play the second string from the bottom open, then hammer on to seven on the second string from the bottom. So you play the open string, and then you just, with your pointer finger, try just smash down on the seventh fret of the second string from the bottom, and then play the ninth fret on the bottom string. That pains me to call it the ninth fret because this is clearly the 12th fret right here. You can see the two dots, but look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's the ninth fret right there. I'm, I'm gonna really try to restrain myself and get over my frustration about the capo and the frets. Okay, so we just did a hammer on to seven and then nine on the bottom. Then you're gonna play second string from the bottom again, open, then hammer on to five, and then play seven on the bottom. So that last little part was Oh, it sounds cool and it's not that hard. So from the beginning of the high up part, we're going two, hammer on, hammer on. Let's try it slowly. Here we go. And boom, ga, boom, ga, slide. Bah, boom, ga, boom, boom, ga. Oh, one more time, and here we go. And boom, ga, boom, ga, slide. Hammer on, hammer on. As soon as you finish that last hammer on, just play five on the second string from the bottom again. Great. Then we start that thing over again. We go back up to 14, and then 17. Then back to 14, then 14 on the bottom. Slide down to two again, but then when we get to the hammer on part, it's gonna be a little different. Play the second string from the bottom open, hammer on to 14, then play 17 on the bottom, then play the second string from the bottom again, open, hammer on to 14 again, then 16 on the bottom, and then back to 14 on the second string from the bottom. So that last part was Play it with me. Oh shoot, I messed up. One, two, karate chop, Roshambo. One more time, you can do it, just watch it flow. All right. We do that whole entire thing dos times in a row. That's Spanish for two. I'm surprised you didn't know that. Let's take it from the beginning of the up high part. One, two, three, four. Hammer on, hammer on. Oh, boom, ga, boom, ga, slide, 14. And again, oh, oh, I, did I say we were doing it twice in a row? I meant once in a row, okay. So you do that twice in a row for the actual song, but it'd be ridiculous if we did it twice in a row right now. Um, and then there's this brief, tiny little interlude that's actually like a violin part, but we're just gonna do it on guitar. Go to seven on the second string from the bottom, and then have your pointer finger on five of the bottom string, and you're gonna go. So you're just playing second from the bottom, then the bottom. Then you play seven on the second string from the bottom again. Then play seven on the bottom string. So that was boom, ga. 
you do that those times in a row and that's all there is to that guys i think at this point that's kind uh that's like the whole first chunk of the song so let's go ahead and try playing it from the very beginning i know what you're thinking you're like uncle stewart i don't remember a single note you told me to play in fact if we're being perfectly honest and i feel like i, I could be honest with you uncle stewart i didn't understand a single thing you just said fair enough one two here we go and <laughs> proud of myself right now at this point we go into like the verse i don't really know if you call this the first verse or the second verse but there's a section here where there's no guitar playing it's just keyboards and stuff but i'm gonna go ahead and show you the piano chords you can play first th did i mention there's no bar chords in the song isn't that fantastic first we have this weird little f sharp minor chord you're gonna do middle finger second fret top string ring finger second fret second string from the top and then pinky second fret third string from the top and you're gonna go like this you just strum that chord it sounds beautiful did i say the right strings it's two on top open and then two two open open you go one two nice gentle strum it's like an f sharp 11 chord then you're gonna go to a d six chord kind d no it's like a uh, it's like a d major nine chord D major nine, guys, you're gonna do second fret, second string from the bottom, second fret, third string from the bottom, strum the bottom four strings. Oh, what a beautiful, gorgeous masterpiece of a chord. Then we go to a plain old regular E chord. It's gonna be top string open, then second fret, second fret, first fret. And then we're gonna go to an A sus two. Just take your middle finger and your pointer finger and move them down a string. Don't play the top string. So let's go ahead and play those four chords in a row. One, two, karate, chop, or oh, shambo. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and a one, two, three. Do it again, then the F sharp, then switch to the D chord. Row, sham, boo, ba, ba, ding, bong. Four, one, two. Really good job. Then there's another little like violin part that we're gonna do. You play four on the bottom string and you're gonna go four, then go to five, and then go right back to four. It goes like this. Three, four. You're gonna do that little bum bum bum. One, two, three, four, five, six times. Let's go ahead and do it six times right now. One, two, three, rest 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 so then there's four beats of rest quattro that's spanish for four i'm surprised you didn't know that that brings us to the big dramatic strummy chorus to the song guys uh we're gonna use uh, the D major nine chord that we did before. That's where you do second fret, second string from the bottom, second fret, third string from the bottom. Mute the top string with your thumb, and you're gonna play this rhythm. Check it out. We're gonna go. Ba, 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 ba. It's down, 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 down. You can't. You can throw ups in there if you want, but the important part of the, of the, the important thing is the rhythm has to go. Ba, 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 
Play it with me, guys. One, two, here we go. Great job. So we do that rhythm once on this weird D chord. Then we're going to go to the E chord. Remember that one we did earlier? Do the rhythm once on that chord. Then we're going to go to our F sharp minor chord. Remember that one? We do the rhythm once on there. Then we're going to go we're going to go to an A chord, but it's going to be a different version of the A chord. We're going to play an A major 7 over C sharp. You don't have to remember that. It's not going to be on the test. But play the 4th fret on the 2nd string from the top six on the third from the top and six on the third from the bottom and if possible mute the top string you can use your thumb you can use your middle finger either way works and we're going to do the rhythm on there <laughs> guys so it was weird d e weird f sharp minor weird a thing you ready one two here we go <laughs> You're doing a great job. After you play through that twice, like we just did, we're gonna play the same chords again, but instead of going bum 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 bum, we're just gonna go bum 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 straight eighth notes. Eighth notes or we just go bum 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 and that's what we're doing. So there, good explanation. Let's try it with the eighth notes. One, two, karate chop, bing bong. Great. Okay. So we did it with the ba 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 rhythm twice. Then we did it with the eighth notes. We're going to do it one and one half times with the eighth notes. So what do I mean by one and one half times? I mean we do the D, the E, the F sharp, the A. Then we go back to the D. And then, but when we get to the E, we're just going to do one strum and go one, two, three four, five, six, there we did it. We hold out that E for a while. And then it gets to the, to the part of the song that's very ethereal and mystical and chimey and beautiful. And I can't tell what's going on here. So what I have done is I have curated a group of notes for you that is not exactly what's being played in the recording. But it gets the job done, it has the right vibe, and it and it allows me to move on with my life. So here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna play some harmonics, you guys. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna go. We do that again. And then we move on and play the next parts. So here's what I did. I did a harmonic on the seventh fret of the second string from the bottom. So that's where I'm playing that second string from the bottom. Don't pluck way up here by the neck. Pluck back here by the bridge. It gives a better harmonic sound. And then with your left hand, you're gonna just touch the string right at the seventh fret, but don't push at all. Just touch the string and it should sound like that. If it sounds like this, you're pushing too hard. You, you don't want to push at all. Just touch. Great. And then, in fact, as soon as you play it, pull your finger away and it will sustain more. So you go one, two, three, four. Then we're going to do 12 on the bottom string. But remember, because of the capo, it actually looks like 14. Fantastic. Another harmonic there on 12. Then you're going to do a harmonic on four of the second string from the top. And then one more harmonic on seven of the second string from the top. Did I say the right thing? So that was seven second string from the bottom, 12 on the bottom string, four on the second from the bottom, and then seven on the second from the bottom. We're gonna hold each one out for four beats. Let's play it. One, two, here we go. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Do the whole thing again. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, 
three, four, one, two, three, four. Then there's some more ethereal stuff going on. But what I do here is some palm muted power chords. Gets the job done very well. I go. So that was five on the second string from the top, seven on the third string from the top. I'm palm muting, right? Take this part of my hand and just gently touch right here. I go four, five, six, seven, eight strums down. Then I do the same little shape on the second fret of the top strings. That's two on top, four on the second string from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I'm gonna do top string open and second fret on the second string from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then right back to two on top and four on the second string for the top. Great, we've made it through our little palm muted section. Just do that very gently. You just go. Then we have a little like pre-solo part where there is still singing going on, but we sort of start the guitar solo. So check this out. You're gonna go all the way up to 17 on the bottom string and 14 on the third string from the bottom. Once again, remember the capo thing. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 on the bottom, which looks like 19. That's the last time I'm gonna mention that thing, I promise. So I'm using pinky and pointer finger to play those two notes. And then I'm using my middle finger and ring finger to mute all the other strings. Cause what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some tremolo picking. That basically means we're gonna strum down and up as fast as we possibly can. If you just do it as fast as you can, you'll be good. If you wanna be really precise, I think we wanna cram like four strums into every beat. So if the beat is like one, two, three, four, then it's dun, dun, dun. Wait, I don't know. Maybe it's doing 30 second notes. I just do it as fast as you can. What I do when I do tremolo picking is I usually use the tip of my finger to hold the pick, but when I do tremolo picking, I grab onto it with my whole finger so I really have a good grip on it. And then I hold my pick at a little bit of an angle. So I'm not straight against the strings like this. I angle it a little bit. And I just I go like this. I use my whole arm. Like usually I use my wrist when I'm picking, but for tremolo picking, I think that works a little better, especially if a little bit of gain on there, it's gonna be great. So you're gonna go, you do that for like four beats. One, two, three, four, then slide it one fret back. So you're on 16 and 13. One, two, three, four, then go right back up to 17 and 14 and then slide all the way down to nine and 12. Let's do that whole thing. One, two, good luck. You're doing great. Oh wait, sorry, for that last one, for the nine and 12 one, just do one strum. So it's Okay, then you're gonna go down here and get your hand into that same, these are called octaves, by the way, the shape we're doing with our fingers, octaves. Um, we're playing like the same note twice. We're playing a low version of the note and a high version of the note. That makes no sense, a waste of time explanation. If you know what an octave is, then you know. If you don't, then that was meaningless. You're gonna, you're, what you're gonna do is you're gonna strum. So I'm on like, uh, go to two and five. Two on the third from the bottom, five on the bottom. You're gonna do your tremolo picking some more, that really fast picking strumming, and slide all the way up to 11 and 14. So, it, so 11 and 14, one, two, three, four. Then go up to, oh, it goes up to 14 and 17, and you're just gonna go one, two, then slide back to 13 and 16, one, two. Then go all the way down to six and nine. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Oh, six and nine, and then go to four and seven. Golly, gee whiz. Could you tell that I stopped caring about this tutorial and just wanted to get through it and move on with my day? I have a bowl of oatmeal downstairs ready to be cooked. I put all of the ingredients in the bowl. There's some cinnamon. I have not added in the frozen blueberries yet, but that is on my agenda for today. 
The point is, I'm hungry, and I don't know why you're making me teach you this right now when I have other things I would like to be doing. Okay, so what we have so far for that solo thing is we're on five of the bottom string, two on the third string from the bottom, doing the tremolo picking, slide up to 11 and 14, and then go to 14 and 17, and then immediately, or not immediately, but very quickly after that, you go to 13 and 16, then you go to nine and six, and then four and seven. Let's play that whole thing together. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I know, I didn't do a good job, but if I had distortion, look, 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 look. Oh my goodness. Too loud, too loud. sounds so much better. Why didn't you use distortion to start with? Okay, so you do that thing twice, then you're gonna go to 14 on the second string from the bottom and the third string from the bottom. You're gonna wiggle it, and we're gonna play this rhythm. We're gonna go. It's the same rhythm we did when we strummed down here, and we went. But we're doing it up here, we're going. We do that once. Then you go to 17 on the bottom string and play one, two, three, four, then 16 on the bottom string, and then 17 on the second string from the bottom with the same rhythm. So it's Play that with me. One, two, care bears and Fantastic. Then we go back to 14 and 14, do that same thing again. Then we're gonna do, go back to two and five. Two on the third from the bottom, five on the bottom string. You're gonna slide up to 14 and 17 like this. You go, then you do it again. Then you do it again. Then you do it one more time, but this time you go one, two frets higher up to 16 and 19. So that whole thing there goes. Beautiful, it sounds so beautiful, gorgeous, breathtaking. Okay, we're pretty much done. Let's, uh, I don't, uh, we should play this flipping dipping solo thing. All right, let's do this. Let's start from the harmonic part. Do you remember the harmonics where you went? You're like, nope, I do not. Here we go, let's take it from there. We do the harmonics twice, we do the power chords, and then we go into the solo stuff. One, two, not too fast, you know, one, two, Three, then twelve. One, two, three, then four. One, two, three, then seven. One, two, then do it again. And seven on the second string from the bottom. Twelve on the bottom string. Great job. Four on the second string from the top. Then seven on the same string. Here's the power chords. Okay, I'm running out of steam. Guys, this is really good. I think my neighbors are really enjoying it too. Look what happened, guys. Look, this little sticker started coming off of my pickup. I didn't even know there was a sticker on there. Do you guys want it? Free giveaway, do you want this sticker? Do you think there's one on my other pickup? Nope, 
Just that one. Great. Uh, there's no new material we have to learn. At this point, we just have to talk through the end of the song. So we just finished that solo. That was the end of the solo. Then we're going to go back to like, I think it's the verse again. It's when we just, remember when we strummed those basic chords? Like I said, they were piano chords, but we could play them on guitar. You do that again. So you go F sharp, two, three, four, then the D, two, three, then the E, one, two, three, then the A, then do that again. Two, great, fantastic, amazing job. Then we get to the big strummy part again. The you play through that whole entire strummy part two times in a row. Then we go back to the intro of the whole song where we went. You play through that whole entire intro and we end on the second to last chord. And that's it. Like, look, can, I, can we be honest with each other for a minute? A lot of people are going to watch the very beginning of this video because we're having a good time. Everybody's fresh phrased and dreamy eyed. Um, I'm in a good mood at the beginning. Everybody's happy. And then about halfway through, people are going to go like, all right, you know what? I'm going to work on the rest of the song later. And then, you know, life takes over. You have a few kids. Your dog dies. Uh, you start investing. Things happen and you just lose track of the end of the solo. And so a lot of you guys are not going to make it back to this end part of the video. So instead of me like just beating it to death and going over it and playing through the whole thing, we're just going to call it a day. We do need to do that thing with the coffee cup I mentioned though. What did I say? I said I was going to get up and I was going to sit back down and I said that I was, okay, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, okay. I made more of a mess than I planned, but other than that, it was perfect. <laughs>